Welcome to the Fens. 360 degrees of pure nothingness. Doesn't get any better than this. listen to that. Woodpecker. I think that's what they call the dawn chorus. <clears throat> I'm at Welsh's Dam which is near Mainy, uh, March in the Fens. Cambridgeshire Fens and as you can see behind me, hopefully you can see behind me, um, there is uh, an RSBP Royal Society for the Protection of Birds um, place here and all of the washland behind which is flooded is uh, full of wildfowl and various wild birds and the sounds are fantastic. Um, got here this morning just before sunrise and all I could hear was the birds just waking up from their roosting, the swans it's fantastic really, really nice. So yes, I'm in the Fens. Um, <clears throat> by popular demand, uh, I've come back to the Fens. Welch's Dam, uh, I've, I, I came here many, many, many years ago, uh, but not been here lately. Not sure how many compositions I'm gonna get here, if I'm honest, um, it's it's a nice place. There is a nice composition over by the, uh, uh, the, count, uh, the counter drain or the old Bedford, which I'll show you in a sec. But yeah, so I've taken a few, images first thing I, I had you on the tripod put a time lapse on so you'll have seen that already um, but the sun was rising in the background here and there as you can probably see behind me there's a couple of gate posts that are obviously flooded with the uh, the washland that's coming I think the river Delph is over that side so that's obviously flooded and that's brought the uh, the water in here and I just thought it was a it was a quite nice composition with the uh, the fence posts and then the sunrise in the background, just heading out into the nothingness. Really, um, it looks quite nice. I haven't put a long exposure on. I thought I'd try and just keep a little bit of movement or texture on top of the water um, and see how it comes out. So right, I'm going to have a wander and see what else I can find at Welsh's Dam. of the old Bedford River now with the lock in the background um, which is actually um, Vermoyden's drain um, so this is the old Bedford River um, over there is a lock that takes you um, along Verm Vermoyden's drain that was also called the 40 foot drain I think and uh, it's, I'll have a look in a minute when I go back over to the side but I don't think there's water in it now um, but I've taken a, a shot of this lock gate and as you can probably see there's a really gorgeous old cottage over there as well and uh, an old boat sitting on the side so I've taken a shot of this uh, I think I might take another longer shot further up along um, towards the bridge as well while I'm here uh, and I've also taken 
a bit of a wider shot along the along the river um, as the river meanders round with some of the gold morning light coming on, which is quite nice. <laughs> I realise that I never give any settings out or don't really go into too much technical detail when I uh, take a shot. Um, mainly because, one, I don't feel fully qualified, I'm um, purely an amateur photographer. But also I think that settings are, um, it can change because of the light. You know, I'm literally just walking, as you can see now, <laughs> into, a, into an area that's bathed in light where I was coming from shade. And obviously settings will change depending on your light conditions. Um, and and many other things really so uh, I don't give out settings because I think that people that want to come down here and uh, and shoot the landscapes that I shoot then um, their settings will change on the day so yeah that's why so history time Welsh's Dam um, named after a gentleman called Edward Welsh who was one of the adventurers that joined with uh, or worked for, shall we say, Cornelius Vermoyden, who, if you recall or if you've watched one of my previous vlogs, I've explained a little bit about the history of the Fens and how Cornelius Vermoyden came over in the 17th century from Holland and seconded a load of locals to drain the Fens. Um, this particular river here, the Old Bedford, is one of the main um, drains that were dug. And as I said earlier on, the, the lock gate is named after Cornelius Vermoyden. Sorry, not the lock gate, but the drain is named after him himself. So, yeah, back to Edward Welsh, came here. And this is a tiny little hamlet. There's, I think, three or four houses, probably not even that. Um, 11 people live here. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, in, the middle of, in the middle of nowhere. But this, this, obviously, area now is still important. The pumping station's still here which still actively um, is used to keep the keep the water pumping because it's flat around here so obviously it's not a natural flow it has to be pumped around um, so yeah this uh, I think actually this area also or this this hamlet I read was um, there's was, there was something infamous about this because there was a outbreak of cholera <laughs> I think in the 16th century and uh, out of 100 80 people in the hamlet or the area around here um, I think about 12 or 15 of them died of cholera so it must have been something in the old Bedford water <laughs> So I've moved up river or up drain probably to um, it's another pumping station but it's uh, there was actually a hall here um, built by the Fortree family in the 17th century and this is Fortree Hall. I'm not sure whether the hall is available to photograph or not but I thought I'd come and take a look. And actually as I'm walking up here, which I shall show you, there is a, a really nice tree overhanging the drain. So I may be able to get a shot of this tree, you can see in the background. See that? Overhanging the drain. It's not often you get a reasonable composition in the fence, and I think that might make one actually. You know me and trees go back a long way. I don't think you realise how much effort it takes to put a vlog together in the fence. It's uh, <laughs> it isn't really the most exciting of landscapes, but hopefully I'm showing a different landscape to a lot of the ones you see on other vlogs. It is very flat. Um, very bleak but it has got character I guess and this different landscape is what I'm trying to show you guys um, and it just makes it more of a, a challenge and an effort to uh, produce some good photography from it really but um, I think my vlogs are more mixture of photography and they're not massive you know they're not fantastic award-winning shots that I put out but they capture the scene at the time and hopefully it shows you guys a bit about the landscape in the fens and some of the areas and a little bit of history as well which i think also helps just set the scene so 
yeah let's have a look at what this tree looks like and Fortry Hall pumping station and I'll get set up well can't do it I'm trying to get a composition using this tree it's a really nice boat there as well but I've whichever way I look whichever way I try I just can't get a uh, composition I'm happy with the pumping stations okay there's power lines which I guess I could Photoshop out but there's that bungalow in the background as well which I don't really like and I've tried going down low just can't get it so I'm not going to take it for the sake of it um, I might have a wander back up the way I came just to see if I can get the tree further down the drain if not that's the tree anyway so well, I found the hall it's just over there unfortunately I don't think I can get to it it's uh, blocked off uh, it's a private road which is a shame but yeah now that's that's Fortry Hall in the background um, built by the Fortry family in about the 17th century who were also adventurers working for uh, Vermoiden to drain the fens so yeah there's a there's a really nice little bridge here actually as you can see down there little old bridge which I guess dates back to the same time the hall was built it looks uh, it looks quite old so I've tried to get I've tried to get a shot of that um, the trouble is with this gate down here Oh, sorry this fence down here it's really difficult to do so I've put the 70 to 200 on um, and I've tried to just zoom in just to get the crop of the bridge and there's some really old um, cartwheels I think on top there which uh, just give it a little bit of character and age I guess as well so I've taken a, a, a close-in crop of the of the bridge it is a snap and I'll tell you why it's a snap because the I really couldn't get the tripod stabilized because it was it's dipping down here so it's been really difficult to get this shot so it might be a little bit soft because my I couldn't really focus in on the sharpness because I couldn't stabilize the tripod but I got the shot anyway um, again just a, a memory of this place I suppose um, so yeah I hope you like it okay so I did get the tree <laughs> Vertical composition, tree, uh, grasses leading up to the tree, bridge in the background, uh, focus stacked actually because I've got reeds right next to my camera so I've focused on these reeds and then focused on the tree, uh, blend them in Photoshop probably. Um, yeah, tree at last. <laughs> pure blue sky now so not that conducive to landscape images um, sorry there's not been too many uh, images to show you on this vlog really but I hope you appreciate seeing another part of the Fen landscape in its awesomeness look at all that pure flat bleak nothingness <laughs> so yeah I hope you've uh, enjoyed it I will seek out a few more places to visit in the Fens uh, shortly I have got a few in mind again as I've said it before conditions are really key to get some nice images in the fens you need some mood you need some atmosphere you need fog and snow and things like that which uh, unfortunately just hasn't happened for me with the time I have to uh, go out and shoot so but I'll get there as I say I hope you're enjoying them I'll um, I'll see you on the next one then so if you like it give us a like always appreciate that subscribe be great if you could do that and I'll see you on the next one see you soon just leave me at this time